All right, so we have water coming off the rooftop. The water is falling. It's falling and picking up speed. Now, when you increase the amount of water that's in your downspout, there is resistance. This resistance causes it to pick up speed. You end up with a higher velocity. There's a lot of misconceptions about how this works. But you can just see the pressure. You can just see the force that the water's coming off the roof, shooting out of the downspout. It's a thunderstorm. You know, we have, you know, many each year. And these thunderstorms, they're the ones that clean out a downspout system. They'll clean out an underground downspout system. So this is a good example why you don't want to just have your downspout dumping water next to your foundation. It doesn't matter if you have a crawl space or a basement. This is how you end up with water in your crawl space or water in your basement. Now the water's coming down this downspout and because it's a thunderstorm and you have a high volume of water and it's shooting out with such force, such velocity, you have this pounds per square inch. When it comes out, it's just hitting the ground and it's literally moving the stone in the landscape over here. So this is a great example of a thunderstorm or any type of rain event if you're in the tropical climates you have tropical storms so look at this look at the pressure look at the i mean this is just a great example so when people tell me oh shingle gravel and leaves are going to get caught in downspout you know that's made out of corrugated pipe you know, I have to listen to this all the time, and I'm sorry, but I just roll my eyes and I laugh. There's nothing more I can do. I mean, I've shown you guys so much, but I talk about it all the time. So you have corrugated pipe, you have the ridges. That creates resistance. What happens is the water builds up pressure. It builds up force. It builds up pounds per square inch, PSI. It blows all the shingle gravel and leaves out during any heavy rain like this. And that's why I tell you the turbulence that's caused by those ridges in corrugated pipe, that's why I tell you that corrugated pipe is self-cleaning. Now, I've seen PVC pipe with its joints, and people are gluing these 90s and these 60s and these 45 degree, and we have all these glue joints that come apart, and then the the roots get in and dirt gets in and when it cracks dirt falls in well it doesn't build up the force the pounds per square inch that corrugated pipe does because it's smooth on the bottom so you're not going to flush all that dirt out you're not going to flush out all that shingle gravel again it's great in theory and there's this huge misconception but there's a reason why we have downspouts that we put in 35 years ago working as good as the day we installed them. So I'm going to take you to another downspout and show you a little bit more. This house had six downspouts and I was able to capture, you know, a couple hard rains through this same thunderstorm at the same residence. So I'm going to take you to that so that you can uh, so that you can you can really see you know exactly what I'm talking about is about the force you know the way the water really just comes flying off the roof so here take a look at this flow right now so we don't have as much water coming down the downspout do you see how we're not you know we don't have that fire hose effect we don't have as much water people want to tell me all the time how there's drag and there's resistance in a downspout. Absolutely. You know, I study, you know, hydrodynamics as well. Okay. I understand, you know, how the fluids work. But I'm telling you, when you get a hard rain and you have a volume of water, how that changes, how that changes in pounds per square inch, how that changes in force. How it changes in velocity the water just is sailing out of these downspouts and through the underground system as well so again some some huge misconceptions 
You know, when you create restriction like that, when you have more water trying to find its way through the same size downspout, you just end up with more pounds per square inch. When more water has to go through the same opening, it'll flow faster. It actually picks up speed. And again, that's, you know, hydrodynamics. We're not going to get all geeky. We're not going to, you know, get into that. We're not going to go down that well. This is the wrong channel. I keep things simple. I just try to show you guys. I just try to give you guys something to think about. And I know everybody says seeing is believing. So look at how this water is picking up again. And it is just pounding the decorative rock. It's moving the decorative rock. You can see the fabric underneath the decorative stone. I mean, so with that kind of force, when you're moving one inch rock, decorative stone, there's nothing that big or heavy in corrugated pipe. So on the discharge end, after you know a good thunderstorm like this, I can walk around the house and there's leaves and there's shingle gravel and whatever happened to have been in that corrugated pipe is now in the grass. You can just see that it was blown out in the grass. Now, a thunderstorm like this will clean any basin, any outlet basin. It'll just blow all the debris right out into the lawn. It'll blow the lid right off of it. If you don't have the lid screwed down, if it's just a six inch speedy basin, it's gonna blow that lid, which is no big deal as long as you catch it before your lawn crew comes and chops it up. But you can just see the amount of force. You can see just the decorative rock all piled up and how this just you know pounded the decorative stone until there's this small you know crater in the decorative stone and it's moving one inch round rock so that's pretty impressive all right so i'm going to use my hand to create restriction and I want you guys to pay attention to the spray of the water, the pressure of the water, how far the water shoots out into the decorative rock. This is no different than when you're watering your lawn and you don't have a spray nozzle on the hose. So you put your thumb on it to build up resistance and then the water builds up pressure and it sprays out the distance that you want it to. So I'm going to do that to this downspout, and I'm going to show you what it does. This is the reality. This is not theory. This is no longer something that we can sit here and debate. I'm, I'm going to show you right now what it does, and it'll be easy for you to see, and this will really help all my subscribers with the understanding to how these downspouts function, how these downspouts work, and why I love corrugated pipe and every time I hear about the resistance you know I'm just rolling my eyes because I want the resistance that's how I'm gonna get the turbulence that's how I'm gonna get the corrugated pipe to build up pressure build up PSI and whether it's clearing out leaves shingle gravel or blowing the grass that grew over the end where it daylights it does all of that